Okay, let me check my audio. Okay, it seems that you can hear me. So I'll just uh, switch stuff on shortly. Hi everyone. Uh, hi to M, hi to Hans Emanuel Bratberg, hi to Fe Fedia and Fedia, Andrei Proskurniak, and to M. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you can hear me. I'll turn my cameras. Okay, hi everyone. Um, where's my sketchbook? Yeah. Okay, so I have been working today all day on stuff. I had my watercolors. Witam Łukasz Pokoju. I had I had my watercolors and stuff already out because I was painting stuff for my new book. I will show you. I did today. Um, so I finished this picture, which is quite big actually. Let me focus properly. So it's like this cutaway thing. Stuff like that. Um, so I have been working on this today. I had my um, I had my watercolors and, and stuff uh, out. So I thought, okay, um, if I have if I have all my stuff out already, maybe um, I can color uh, a sketch that I did yesterday. Um, maybe a bit more saturated. Yeah, this time I'm doing some people, but there are kind of really um, small just their um, like stand-ins kind of just put our son to son, son to bed so I have like an hour and a half to, to uh, do a live with you so yeah I finished this one I'll be doing a lot of these uh, I already finished like two um, and I had to do more uh, so um, I thought, okay, if I have all the watercolors and stuff out already, I can um, do a sketch with you and chat with you uh, in the chat. I have your chat here, so I can see what you're saying. And I have my sketchbook here. I did um, start a sketch yesterday, a new page. I'll show you the new ones that I did recently. So this is one that I did recently. This is with watercolors and um, color pencils actually and um, kind of continuing on a theme of doing uh, pictures of um, the place where we live we live um, close to um, Jindaiji and uh, Kichijoji and so on and this is I think in Inokashira Koen and I did this one which was just like a shot um, I took close to our house and this is also with colored inks and um, with colored inks and uh, pencils, colored pencils. So that's um, I think quite um, detailed for a sketch. It took me a lot of time actually because the um, the the ink was not working with this sketchbook as well as I expected. And um, I kind of got really weird textures and so on. So I had to put a lot of details with the color pencils and, and, and so on to, to make it work. Okay, so today I want to finish this thing, uh, which is a pencil sketch. I'll take my lights a bit more to the side so it doesn't shine so much. This is... Um, a pencil sketch I uh, got a pencil from Kana because she bought it some time ago but she was not using it so much so I kind of got it and I'm trying to use it uh, so I sketched this thing and today I want to color this and this is like um, like this big let me get this sketchbook here okay So I want to finish this thing today, 
and I'll show you the reference photo we'll be using for this. I'm trying to get a camera angle, uh, a light angle so it's bright but it doesn't kind of reflect from the pencil. Yeah. Something like this, I guess. Okay, so it's already kind of detailed. Um, I put a lot of like, deep blacks and so on. Uh, so um, it's already very detailed and I want to just add some colors. I will show you uh, the reference photo I'll be using for this. This is just something I took, I think with my iPhone, um, on a walk um, close to our house. This is actually on our route uh, that we take every morning to walk our dog and have a have a walk every morning. So um, it's nice to have such a nice place near our house. And this is one of the reason, reasons why we actually moved here. Um, yeah, so I have my watercolor set because uh, as I told you, I already had it out. I'll take a brush that's a bit kind of bigger and, and, and roundish. And yeah, let's, let's just have a fun time painting this. I really don't know how this paper uh, with so much pencil on it will, will uh, work with watercolors, but um, I guess we'll see. Thank you, um, Beatles Acuity. Um, yeah, like Studio Ghibli movies are a, a big um, inspiration for me, so I'm glad. Uh, okay, let's start from bright green and let's go from there. Are so sausage. Sausage. <laughs> uh, this is actually Stillman and Burn Zeta series sketchbook um, that um, Kana's father actually brought for me from. Um, I think he was like in Germany or whatever for some for for work, and. We don't have these sketchbooks in Japan, so I asked him like um, if he goes like for for work eh, to a country that has these to to actually bring these for me because I just just don't want to buy stuff from uh, like abroad and like f fly it um, with an airplane especially for, for me because I have nice sketchbooks here in Japan. So I don't want to like use, um, how do you call it? Airplane fuel just to, and emit CO2 and stuff just to get me a nice sketchbook. So he was already going there for work. Um, so he bought like two or three different ones for me and, um, yeah, I actually like the Zeta one so far. It has been very nice with watercolors and like everything I, I threw at it, um, it handles really nice. Um, the only thing like these pencils, it's a bit hard to get a very dark line because the paper is kind of smooth actually. So you have to work at it um, a bit more than I'm used to. Uh, because the cotton MD paper paper that I usually use for sketching has a bit more tooth to it. Um, so I don't have to press so hard on it to, to, to get um, darker lines. But yeah, I, ha I, I, I like this, uh, this sketchbook actually, because it has very nice paper. 
the covers are kind of sturdy, but they are bendy enough so they kind of get out of the way. Um, and you can open it quite flat, but the glue goes like weird. But yeah, it's just a sketchbook, so whatever. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's both, um, okay, so, um, Sanjia Mayekar asks, um, what is more fun for you to do organic things like trees and rocks or uh, man-made objects like br bridges and, and buildings and stuff. I really like, um, bridges and buildings. I had a, a, a time when I was... I, I would answer trees, and it was actually true. Probably, I I really liked to draw trees, but I never have been like really proficient at drawing trees. It's not my main subject, so to say. Um, there are um, watercolor artists that uh, handle um, trees and so on uh, a lot better than I do. Um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoy drawing um, both, but yeah, probably man-made structures more because just um, how kind of logical the structure is, <laughs> it speaks to me. I can hear the voice of the buildings, they are calling me, kind of thing. Hello to India. How do you keep the pencils from not smudging? Uh, you know what? I, I just don't know. I don't press so so hard with the brush. My watercolors are kind of light. Um, I never had so much problem with um, pencils, like smudging. Um, if you use really soft pencil, like 4 or 6B, on a more... Um, textured paper so you get more of this like pencil dust if you know what I mean on the paper like in the crevices like in the texture of the paper and then you start like applying watercolors on top of it the 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 the, 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 the pencil um, dust can start kind of float float up if you know what I mean from from the paper texture so um, I have been using a lot of um, like this hot press paper which doesn't have so much texture and it I, I think prevents the pencil from leaving so much dust behind um, it has its limitations because of course you, you cannot do so so dark uh, lines and and the watercolors are also kind of um, less saturated because you just get less pigment like stays on the paper uh, but overall, um, yeah, the paper combination, I think it's very important. The paper and uh, um, pencil hardness combination is very important. So you just have to try a few kind of combinations. And if you are really bothered with, uh, with that, um, you can get pencils that are more like crayons, like uh, more like um, color pencils, like oil based. You cannot erase them but they are very black and very um, less susceptible okay, susceptible um, yeah less prone to um, like, uh, like giving you dust problems uh, for example like the Stettler uh, like 8B and so on they are uh, made from like a different type of material and they they behave more like a color pencil than regular pencil so yeah yeah usually usually it's okay but i know what you mean um like some uh, like uh, some friends of mine that also work with watercolors and, and color pen and pencils um 
like have a lot of problems with with that and um they use like i i'm talking about atelier Sento. they use like really um thick uh heavy line and um they say that they have a lot of problems with uh, pencils like bleeding and and making the watercolor kind of dusty and and um what do you call it like f full of these particles in it You could also probably um, try to apply some fixatives like after the pencils like do the pencils uh, spray it with like matte fixative and then try watercolors on top of it but I I really don't know how it would work um, you had to do you will probably you would probably have to do some te tests I, I do a lot of tests of, of, of all these kind of things Usually lines like this, which were done like 4B, I think, on like smoother kind of paper, will work okay, I think, with watercolors. Yeah, I have I have tried the, um, uh, Fedya asks, uh, have you tried um, the Kurutoga pencils. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, I think um, who, who actually makes them? Tombo? No, Mitsubishi. I don't remember. Some of the Japanese like um, makers uh, maker uh, does them. And the the whole idea is that the pencil tip, that so the lead, kind of rotates around when you use the pencil. So when you touch the paper with the pencil tip um, it kind of um, has a ratcheting mechanism inside um, that rotates the the, um, the lead inside a bit and um, this is mostly aimed for people who write with mechanical pencils you have to remember that in Japan a lot of students and so on like most of them write with um, pencils, mechanical pencils and, and usual pencils. Uh, so um, this is mostly aimed for people who write, um, not for, for us, so not for artists. But yeah, I know some artists that like this mechanism. Um, it kind of keeps your uh, the tip of your lead kind of roundish and, and evenly sharp. But I don't like it personally. Um, it introduces this um, kind of rattle of this of the of the tip of the um, uh, how do you call it of the lead. So every time you press it on the paper, it goes like. <laughs> <laughs> Like click 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 and uh, so i i don't i don't like it so much but yeah i, I get how some people could uh, like it for writing because um it you you don't have to like rotate the pencil in your hand and i'm very used to like rotating the pencil in my hand just i do it automatically without thinking about it so much so Okay, so I have the center part of it. I haven't used post poster colors so much recently. Um, to be honest, I did some tests with it, tests with it. Um, but I think I like um, acrylic gouache better. It's just because 
for transparent medium I can always work with watercolors which I'm more used to and for opaque mediums I really want to use the opaqueness so the um, the pool of the uh, opaque media for me is that I can paint with layers on so I can paint something and then paint on top of it and on top of it and on top of it and um, the poster colors are good they're like gouache they're good but um, you have to be really careful and know what you're doing to not to disturb the layers below because um, they are not waterproof when they are dry so like everything that you put on top and you are too heavy handed with it you the layer that you already had on your paper can um, reactivate and um, you basically destroy what you had there or uh, the new layer that you're painting will mix with the older layer and it will becomes kind of muddy and not very nice uh, but with acrylic gouache you don't have this problem because they um, they dry waterproof so you can actually layer stuff on top of things that you already have and don't worry at all that um, stuff will mix this has downsides of course because um, uh, because it's waterproof you cannot reactivate it so it's it's hard to fix some things or do like uh, gradations and and so on so there are like upsides and downsides but um, yeah I think if I was uh, to use um, like opaque paint I would actually go for um, I would actually go for uh, acrylic gush because yeah of the waterproof factor and I like how they look um, YX Lim says, I managed to get your MD collab notebook when I was in Taiwan. It's beautiful and I haven't thought about what to use it for yet. Great. Um, I got some copies of it from the from the from the MD paper company, uh, which I um, I presented to some friends and, and, and family. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it turned out quite nice. Actually, I um, I like how it looks. It's like uh, I did like an illustration or two illustrations for this and one of them was f used for the cover but they didn't just print the illustration but they did like deboss it so it was kind of stamped into the cover so it's it's there but it's not so obtrusive so um, you buy a notebook and you have my picture on the cover you buy a notebook and it's kind of white but if you look closely, you can see that there is an illustration. So it, it was kind of interesting. Pozdrowienia z Japonii. Uh, I'm working on a sketch that I um, sketched yesterday with a pencil. And because I have some time, uh, I wanted to color it with watercolors just to have some fun uh, because I was working today with watercolors on a bigger piece and had all the tools already out so I was like okay I can I can make a stream too and this is just like a small shrine I think uh, kind of close to our house and I painted it already like two two three times from various angles <laughs> Uh, the neighbors are making their dinner okay i i think they have like the um the pipe from their um how do you call it the uh, i don't know the word in english the 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 thing that sucks air from your kitchen um, straight like out of our window and because we have a window open right now i can feel I can smell everything they're cooking. Air vent, yeah, they have their air, kitchen air vent. P 
vacuum extractor. A bit too saturated. What if let's leave it like this? So if I was usually like usually I don't put blacks in with the pencil. I leave it for watercolors, but I was I felt like kind of experimenting so I did it this style and wanted to see what happens if I try to paint over it oh yeah happy Easter Happy Easter for all of you that do Easter. It's not so present in Japan at all. Maybe if you go to a supermarket, there will be like some promotions for some foods, but that's it, basically. Less pronounced in Japan than Valentine's Day. <laughs> I have to kind of change my angle with my hand because the light is kind of in my way, but it looks good on stream, so I leave them as they are. picked up bigger brush so I can limit myself not to paint too small details Hello. Q. 
kitchen hood um, Suma Deep Day, thank you. Uh, the pencil is not smearing because it's just 4B on a very smooth paper. This is not so textured. So, yeah, I don't have so much problems with smearing. But um, I'm also using the watercolors kind of, kind of light. So it tends to be okay. Yeah, I still use Karandash. I actually um, used the pencils from Karandash for the previous two sketches, like this thing and 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 this thing, uh, on top of watercolors and on top of like um, colored ink. So yeah, I, I still use the pencils. I really like the color pencils. Especially that they fit in my um, uh, electric pencil sharpener, so I, I can just sharpen them very quickly. Like I bought also some uh, from Faber-Castell, but they don't fit into my uh, the, the hole of, of my electric sharpener, so it's a, a pain more to use them for like sketching at my desk. Ah, thank you. I'm glad you you did. I actually I haven't used Copics for a lot uh, for a long time, but um, I saw some really cool vi um, works like sketches, like black and white sketches, uh, using only like gray ones. So I bought myself some gray Copics, and I want to try them out soon. Try to paint like between the fence, so I don't actually color the fence, but paint like between the wooden parts, so it looks. I haven't seen it yet. Um, we actually were very busy with our uh, uh, with our son when um, the movie came out and the pandemic was a bit more, um, there was a lot of cases of, of, of Corona when, when it came out. So um, uh, we waited a bit and I, I don't like going to the cinema so much um, personally. So uh, I'm like, okay, I'll just watch it on like uh, Blu-ray or DVD when it comes out. And 
it still didn't come out here in Japan. So um, when when it when it comes out, I'll see it. But yeah, I heard that the American reviews and like international reviews have been uh, better than the previous movie. So that's good. In the previous movie, I didn't like the story so much. So. If they managed to get the story back to the level, to the previous level, um, or better maybe even, then that's that's great. Actually, this is from Ogakazuho's work. I really like his pencils, and I really like his watercolors, and um, I know that he's great with um, like all the anime background stuff that he does and um, like his work with um, opaque colors but uh, from his book uh, we are talking about Ogakazuo from his books I, I really liked his watercolors and how he works with pencils and watercolors for, for like um, his um, private work and um, I was especially I especially like how he does foliage so trees and so on so i always try to look at his um like how he sketches trees and 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 uh, all kinds of plants and and um the, all the shadows that he did with the, with the pencil um are v very very nice i actually looked at his sketches before like do doing this one so just to kind of refresh my um what i remember There are two albums of his work that has a lot of like uh, anime stuff in it, but you, they also have um, some of his private work in it. And um, the watercolors that are there are very, very fresh, very, very good. I really don't know what he's doing right now. Maybe he was working on the new uh, Ghibli movie. I don't know really, uh, but I, I guess he was. Oga-san, te ima nani yatteru ka shira ne? Oga kazuo. Hmm. Ghibli no atarashi yatsu ni sanka shita ka shira ne? Okay. I don't know what was about your name that so um, kind of uh, connects to people. I saw that movie so many times that I already kind of it, it, it a bit lost its appeal for me because I, I saw it during the production like so many times. Um, but I wonder what it is with with your name that um, resonates with with so many people.
So yeah, whenever the new movie comes out on like Blu-ray or whatever, I'll probably just see it. This time probably I I will not get not get a free copy because I didn't do anything for that movie, so I have to buy it or or, or rent it. Oh yeah, the music is is. I haven't put, put, I haven't paid so much attention to the music to be honest. Yeah, the visuals were, were very nice. I think that um, everyone did a great job to make the visuals kind of fresh and painterly and a bit more, I don't know, clean. Um, I think the, 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 the next movie, um, The Weathering With You, it was a bit more you know, rough and, and, and kind of grayish and... and Maybe it's because it was mostly in Tokyo, set in Tokyo, so it was a, a bit more of this kind of grittiness to, to, to the backgrounds. Yeah, there had to be some like shared experience and and shared um, like feelings to that movie. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, you had you had the the the, the glasses on slow motion. Like in Harry Potter. Okay, so I'm trying not to be so intensive with the um, with the colors, so I can then layer a bit. Uh, so I, I usually am too heavy-handed with sketches like this, and then I lose the ability to to make stuff darker. I actually watched like um, uh, the Mandalorian on uh, Disney Plus recently, so that was uh, and Andor, which was very good. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. I tried to watch 
to watch Obi Wan, but it was so stiff that I gave up, uh, like in the like third or episode or whatever. I I I watched the the Star Wars series and. I was surprised how much I liked the the world building in them. Um, I'm kind of, I think, um, very much on the side of SF that it has like the human side. So yes, they have spaceships and yes, they have all these kinds of fantastic like robots and stuff, but there's still a lot of like, kind of human things that they do and uh, it's not very sterile, sterile, which is very interesting approach. So it's like high tech, low tech kind of thing. Yeah, I'm very sad that the Mandalorian get, get got cancelled. I think I, I read in the news because the people didn't didn't like the, the the beginning of the third season, which is very weird because um, the third season actually uh, got a lot better in the last like two three episodes. So that's a bummer. Uh, Mirinarli, Mirinalini Cooper asks um, brush types you are comfortable with while painting um, I use watercolor brushes so brushes for watercolors which are a bit softer than brushes for I don't know like oils or whatever and um, I uh, usually use uh, brushes that are synthetic um, I just am more comfortable with using synthetic brushes because of um, yeah it's not made of a dead squirrel or whatever that's one point which is very important for me but um, maybe not dead but f from a squirrel that was um, they had to take the hair out of the squirrel or whatever and um, there are two types actually that I use. One, um, I use few brands. Um, usually, I use the Escoda, uh, and this is like the Japanese Arteje brand or whatever. But they are different in one way. Um, the uh, the Escoda is more kind of sharp, and these are round. And um, depending on what uh, kind of effect I'm going for. I'll kind of choose um, between like a brush with more round uh, tip or more um, like sharp tip and um, I actually prefer um, like synthetic fiber brushes because um, I think they are a bit easier to take care of and um, just don't give me any problems at all. I had more problems with natural hair brushes uh, getting kind of double um, like split at the end and and being um, harder to to manage. Um, basically, um, I don't see so much like advantages in using like uh, natural hair brushes, but. Maybe that's because I usually paint very s relatively small pictures, like this size, and um, I don't do like, like the proper watercolor painting with like huge mop brushes when you paint like um, like big transitions and you use uh, a lot of paint at once. I um, I do this more kind of illustration style. Um, drawing, uh, drawing and painting, uh, kind of work. 
So for me, um, like smaller, like number four brush like this with a bit roundish tip is enough to do what I want to do. Um, I really don't feel comfortable like with these kind of huge brushes uh, because I just don't use them on such a big format. Like the biggest brush I have is the Escoda number 10. Um, so this is from where a lot of artists just start. Um, I know that in uh, like the Zubkovic or Zubkovic or whatever, how do you pronounce that, uh, said, I think that the smallest one is like this or whatever. So um, yeah, I, I, I prefer kind of smallish, not very small, but smallish um, synthetic brushes. The Skoda Perla is very nice and if you want nice brushes for watercolors, like uh, try some Escoda um, synthetic brushes. <laughs> Julian, okay, I, I'll try. I have to. I have to. I have to look at that too. It's been already a few years since I left that anime studio, so I don't really know what um, happens there and who actually is uh, doing like what there. So I'm guessing a lot of the stuff changed from when I was there. Hi, Mai. It's nice to see you too, Misha Illustrator. Czy dużo malujesz na zewnątrz, czy raczej tylko przy biurku? Większość rzeczy e, robię e, w studiu, czy przy biurku, ale czasami jak mnie natchnie, e, wychodzę też na zewnątrz. Mam takie fajne składane krzesełko, e, które waży bardzo niewiele i wychodzę na zewnątrz też, ale bardziej maluję niż szkicuję, więc namalowanie jednej rzeczy mi zajmuje dosyć długo, więc krzesełko jest bardzo przydatne. Let's put some blue into this and let's see what happens. It's a bit too dark. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I will. I will have to make a studio or a tour, maybe. But um, I will be doing a, 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 a sketchbook tour because I finished one of my sketchbooks recently. It's not so interesting because most of the most of the sketches that I do are for like the stores for my book. So uh, it's a bit mono monotonous, but. Um, yeah. Some of you might find it interesting, maybe. And yeah, I actually have some like interviews and stuff planned. So I will have to clean up our studio again. Uh, so maybe when I clean it up, I'll be like, okay, we'll just let's make a like a tour or whatever. But I don't know, I'm quite, quite busy. And when I'm not working, Akana is working here. Uh, so. difficult to find a moment how often do you use English in everyday life um, not so much but I, I read a lot a lot in English most of the like internet things that I do uh, are in English and I have some friends here that 
um, I communicate with in, in English too, but um, yeah, mostly I use Japanese. And I try also to speak to our son in English. He's very small, so um, the only words, um, there, there are only a few words that he, he no, knows, um, like car and bus, and also bum uh, recently. So yeah, I'm trying to, to, to teach him some English words. So you can say that my usage of English language uh, has um, increased a bit, uh, but um, it didn't go up in quality at all. <laughs> no, uh, we are we are teaching him. Um, I'm teaching him English, and um, we are speaking to him in Japanese. Um, just because you know, Polish is not a language that I use every day here. Um, and um, at least Kana understands a bit of English, so um, we can kind of teach him together. And when he goes to like preschool or whatever, um, they will also teach him a bit English, I guess. So it's it's best to, to teach him English. And um, so he remembers some words before he goes to school or preschool. I considered doing Polish, but um, Polish is so difficult that um, it would be difficult for Kana to, to, to learn it from scratch. Ah, thank you, Julian. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. It was a very kind of difficult and um, unique project so I'm happy that I did it I would like to do a second one actually but I'm kind of busy with with my stuff so maybe someday Good morning from from Florida. Always love seeing your work. Thank you. Uh, what kind of paper sketchbook are you using? Um, this is a Stillman and Burn Zeta series. So the one with the thicker paper, uh, but no texture. Um, yeah, it, it, it actually handles stuff well. Um, it didn't do so well with colored inks that I tried to do uh, on it like uh, some few days before. But yeah, for watercolors, it's kind of okay. But it's um, it doesn't have a lot of texture, uh, so the, the 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 pencil was um, a bit tough um, to to get down. But overall, I'm very pleased about this sketchbook and. I have been using it um, a lot actually, uh, just doing some random stuff uh, from mostly from photos that I took like around here. And yeah, it, it has been quite nice. One of the best kind, kind of this smoother um, quality paper um, that that I had the pleasure to use. recently the quality of the binding and so on maybe is not so sturdy um, but um, it's just a sketchbook so it's good enough
Nie, zdecydowaliśmy się na, na, na uczenie angielskiego też ze względu na to, że w japońskich przedszkolach i szkołach oni jednak trochę tego angielskiego próbują uczyć. No i Kana też mówi trochę po angielsku, więc e, uczymy go angielskich słówek tak, żeby jak pójdzie do szkoły czy przedszkola, to będzie mógł już trochę tam rozumieć powiedzmy. E, a to jest też do, taki dobry trening dla mnie, bo ja na co dzień i tak używam większości japońskiego, więc sobie poczytam coś po angielsku, czy, czy, czy po, mówię, mówię do niego po angielsku, to mogę też taką trochę e, codzienną konwersację sobie potrenować na nim e, po angielsku, więc to też dobrze. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit busy doing two books actually at once. Um, I'm doing the books on new stores, which uh, I um, finished the main part actually, so the store paintings, but now I'm doing like the inside paintings. Uh, and I'm doing a second book actually too, which I have to finish to the end of the year, so I really don't have time to make videos, sadly. I have some backlog from mostly digital stuff and some like watercolor things that I ha have to kind of um, edit and just upload but um, it's very, very difficult to, f to find time. Um, if I have a bit of time, I, I prefer to do maybe live streaming because it just takes so, li so little time to set everything up, which is very, very useful for me right now. So I'm happy that at least in this kind of capacity, I can uh, connect with you. And I um, do Uh, monthly um, Q&A sessions for Patreons. So if you are on Patreon, um, I do monthly Q&As there for like an hour or two every month, like at the end of the month. And we do a lot of weird things there, like um, commentary section or ses sessions on um, Patreon uh, work or like correcting some things or like just talking about art and stuff. So. I have been in Japan for 13 years, 13 years already, and I moved here to do um, study. To study, um, I uh, got a scholarship from a Japanese from the Japanese gov government uh, to do um, my higher education here. So I went to the university here, and then I stayed for work. Um, hi, welcome. So oh, yeah, I have been here for quite long, actually. Yeah, the stream will be up when when it's over. I I will not um, I will not erase it. I think. The only vin ah, um, Patra asks, do you have interest in vintage things? The only vintage things that I like are vintage writing machines, which is a bit weird, but I, I really like um, uh, like old computers and stuff that you can use for writing, uh, which is um, one of the tasks that you can still use very old computers for that is useful. So you can sit in front of a very old computer or like a... a very old text processor or whatever and write uh, something and then you can like put it onto a floppy or whatever and you can still like post the text on your blog and it, it's pretty it's just all right it's just text so yeah i like i like like um kind of uh, messing up messing with old computers and stuff like that for for text for writing I have been trying to use like 1970s or 1980s like word processors and electric typewriters or whatever. 
if you just look at my blog, I'm I'm writing about that a bit. Thank you. あ、自分好きな料理、ま、料理って言えるのかどうか食べ物は多分チーズとかなんかそこら辺が一番好きかな。パンもね、ラザニア的なものも好きだし、基本的になんかちょっとなんかこってりしたトマト系のものが結構好
This is a, a bit of an experimental piece because I usually don't paint over so heavy pencils. But um, yeah, I, I think it's going okay for, 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 for this at this stage. Let's see. Usually at this hour, I can only paint with my right hand and my left hand is here just petting my dog or a dog because she wants to be scratched and like petted at this hour. <laughs> uh, what was the last art book, zine, etc. Et you picked up recently? I have bought a lot of books for... Um, like reference books for the store uh, stores book I'm doing right now um, this is because I'm doing everything from like imagination all the stores that I'm painting for this one are made up so I had to buy a lot of uh, books on like Japanese architecture and, and stuff like that um, uh, to just use as reference for how buildings look inside and how they are made and, and like um, I was aiming for books that will have some like floor plans and stuff so I bought a lot of like weird books and secondhand books but um, one uh, particular one is uh, this one it's Nihon no Sumai uh, so Japanese Living by um, an author called I think he's called Nishiyama Uzo, I think, and this is a very old book from like 1960s or whatever, and um, this is a very very good book with a lot of pictures and and plans and 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 uh, drawings of um, uh, Japanese various Japanese um, houses and buildings and, and stuff like that. So that's interesting. But um, I also supported on Kickstarter the new book from uh, how is it? not Hinterlands? How is it called? Um, wait, uh, da, da, da. the Guelph, 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 Guelph. I don't know how to pronounce this. Larry McDougall did this book which is like the Guelph survival guide, which is like a fantasy watercolor thing. Uh, and it was on Kickstarter, like I think two years ago, it has a lot of beautiful in, in, like watercolor illustrations of, of this like uh, fantasy wor world, uh, which I just really, really like. And recently there was a Kickstarter for the second part of this. Uh, which also looks uh, brilliant, so I supported that. Uh, Fujishiro says, I bought Kana's manga, I will read it now. Sorry, it has nothing to do with this live streaming. No, thank you very much. Ano, hitori ga Kana chan no manga katta hito. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so Kana's comic, uh, Kana no manga, uh, Mame shika te yu, uh, Mame de shikaku, shikaku de yawaraka de. え、今日、昨日発売だったなので、興味があれば、え、ぜひ見てください。あの、あれはなんか江戸の、え、時代の日本の日常の話みたいなものですので。ちょっと日本語上手い人の方がいいかもな。ちょっと難しいですよね。う
So, ne? For now that the book is only in Japanese, it has been published in Japanese like uh, yesterday. So um, I don't know if if there will be like uh, a publisher that wants to tackle the, the translating of this. Uh, then maybe there will be an English version, but um, for now it's only in Japanese. This is about uh, like Edo Tokyo, so old times Tokyo, and the dialogues are pretty realistic. So um, it's very hard to translate it to English, I guess, uh, and uh, kind of get the atmosphere right. It, it, had, it had to be um, someone who uh, is kind of... Um, very versed with translating period uh, dramas, like period books. Um, so I don't know if there's like a market for that, but yeah, if there's like a publisher that wants to do it, um, maybe there will be English version in the future. Okay, I'll show you the reference photo for a second so you can see what I'm doing. It's this thing here. Oh, the phone is going to be here. めっちゃ早く喋ってた今。I have uh, I have been using for some for a lot of time um Panasonic cameras. I don't think I ever had a Ricoh camera. I didn't have the GR, um, I think it's GR3 or whatever. Uh, I, I use um, I use the um, what is it? G7 or whatever for, for, for my video for this camera. And because I already had the lens and, and so on, I always, uh, I almost exclusively used uh, Panasonic, like micro four thirds cameras and my main camera right now is I have the G GXH, so this thing, which is a bit big and heavy. But it's yeah, it's a nice camera. A bit old, but I like it. Here's my brush. Yeah, let's see. Thank you. I would like to try the Fuji X100 and so on, but they are so popular right now that yeah, it's not going to happen. But yeah, I like the I like the Panasonic system too. Thank you, thank you, Alberto Ranieri. 
Yeah, there is actually the Italian version of my second book, um, the Tokyo at Night, also in Italian. So um, that's that's out too. I don't know if if probably there will be like the 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 newest one that I had. Uh, it should be in Italian too soon, but I don't know. But I'm glad I'm glad that you liked the storefronts. Ah, GX1, yeah, I still have it. I, I have it and I use it from time to time. The, the biggest advantage of, of these is that I can use the same lens of on all of these cameras. So depending on where I'm going and what I want to do, uh, I just can pick the camera and, and like swap the lenses and so on. So it's very useful. Um, I actually bought the GX1 to to take it like for a trip. Like we, we had a trip planned for, for Europe, but because of the Corona, we, we couldn't go. So I just used it here in Japan and I liked it really much. But um, unfortunately it was a bit slow for um, the Leica lens, Leica, Leica lens that I have. So um, I bought the GX8 uh, and I also wanted to have a, a EVF, so like the uh, electronic viewfinder that you can you can use. And like, I don't like to use only like the screen. So yeah, for me, like photography is a, a bit like of a, like a hobby. So something like I do just to relax and walk around and take photos and then I um, I look at the photos I took and some I uh, uh, leave for just like photography hobby photos and some I um, just put into my or maybe I'll someday use it as a reference folder um, so it's a hobby but it's also kind of useful because I can grow my uh, references and and um, have some photos useful when um, I need them but yeah I, I still I, I was thinking about selling the GX1 but I, I still have it because it's such a neat little camera that I uh, still use it It's very nice in the hand. I, I really like the grip of it. Yeah, the 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 the, the thing that I, I want to try about the Fuji is that I really like to shoot in JPEGs. So um, I'm not a person that wants to spend a lot of time just sitting in like Lightroom and editing their photos for like half a day or whatever. Um, so um, the idea of just having nice kind of filters in camera, like the film simulation and so on, uh, is appealing uh for me and i would like to try that out um i can do a bit of it in the panasonic because it has some like color profiles and and so on so it's a bit similar but i really like um the fact that you in the fuji you can um put like the the grain of the film also from the camera which which kind of looks interesting so like most of the additions that i can do in lightroom i can just set in the uh, in, in, in the Fujifilm just in the camera and then I can have like the raw files and just put them on hard drive somewhere and have my JPEGs like ready from the camera which is 
saves me a lot of time. And I just, as I said, I'm just like a hobbyist photographer. So um, if a photo looks good to me, then it's okay. Um, I don't like submit them anywhere or use them for anything. The only time that I use pho like photography for something is like when I'm writing a blog or whatever, and um, I want to have some nice photos for, for my blog, for my article, uh, like uh, photos of my workplace or whatever. Um, so then I, I, I sit down and edit them and uh, like um, remove some like blemishes or, or, or like fix the colors. But apart of that, like most of the times I, I'm just satisfied with with I, what I can get from the camera. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Okay, let's add some color here. have to go for a walk with our dog in like half an hour or so so I want to finish this So I don't want to spend so much time on, on these because th these are supposed to be sketches. So. Witam serdecznie. Nie rozmawiam często po polsku, bo po prostu nie ma z kim. Z rodziną gdzieś tam przy, przez, yy, przez internet i to w sumie tyle. Czasem dam jakiś podcast czy audycja w Radiu Polskim się zdarzy, ale to też jest takie bardzo ograniczone. A, kary i Disney. Kimarimaszta. A, I haven't seen Shin Kamen Rider yet. I have seen the, the, the two, um, the Godzilla and uh, Ultraman, but I haven't seen the Kamen Rider yet.
the only thing from like this category that I like Japanese cinema category that I saw recently um, was um, the two first episodes of the um, uh, Tengoku Daimakyo anime which were kind of interesting actually um, a bit different than the rest of things that I that is coming right out right now so I I actually enjoyed it so that's a rare thing for me to en enjoy like recent anime so uh, I I watched it on, on Disney plus because I already watched all the uh, Star Wars things that I wanted to see and I was looking for something else to to, to watch and, and I was like okay let's just the trailer look, looked nice, so I tried it, and so far it's kind of okay. Pozdrawiam. Okay, let's make this part here a bit darker then we can paint the leaves here on the top and uh, we'll be more or less done with it I think So here I want to put the color a bit more intensive so we can have a nice contrast between these um, leaves and the background so that stuff in the background uh, let's see. <laughs> a 
Tu tiens. Our dog is. It's walk time. It's walk time. Yeah, it's walk time. It's walk time. She's just going from me to Kana and from Kana to me, and just like it, it, it's walk time, you know. You know what? It's walk time. This will be less dark when it dries, I hope. Okay, so that's more or less it, I guess. The only thing that I would like to add is a bit more like branches here. But for that, maybe I'll get back to the pencil a bit and I recently got these uh, Faber Castell Pit Graphite Matte Pencils 
I bought them to test because they're supposed to be a bit more uh, not not so uh, yeah, how do you call it shiny the graphite uh, so maybe I can add some darker branches here and there top of the watercolors so I kind of covered the pencil a bit here I want to get the branches back a bit. Stuff like this cable here and some details here. I might get back to this picture with some um, color pencils actually. Ah. Or maybe not, I don't know. For now, I think it's okay. Let me sharpen this. It is definitely darker than the regular like 4B pencil that I used for the lines for this so that's good but I don't want to overdo it because I would have to like start adding details all over the place here so just in some places where I want stand the pencils to stand out a bit more like add some branches here in the background and Yeah, something like this, I guess. Today we had a very weird weather here. We had like hail, like uh, hail and rain and wind and some um, light, like lightning and, and thunders, like um, during the day, and it was weird. I was really hoping for a rainbow for for a second there, but we didn't have one. Uh, music, wait, what I have been listening to lately, where's my, where's my phone, so I can, um, I can also look at the, uh, um, mm -mm. oh yes, I have been, I have been listening to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard for, for a bit recently, um, uh, which was a, a bit of a discovery. Uh, f for me, and I like I like their Omnium Gatherum uh, album, uh, and it's really good, <laughs> and it's very fun to say to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Okay, so um, this is the picture. I think we are finished uh, with this one. I'll quickly show you the, the previous ones that I did in this sketchbook so we can kind of see what I'm doing here. 
this is uh, color ink and color pencils and also this pencil um, these are also watercolors and color pencils and this pencil um, these are this is ballpoint pen and this one I actually did uh, in a stream so you can rewatch it it should be on my channel if you want to see how I painted this one uh, so yeah I had a I had a lot of fun doing stuff in this sketchbook recently uh, and I'll probably do a few more of these still okay thank you for joining me for the um, live stream today I hope you are all well and I wish you well too and yeah let's have a good day or night or whatever and do some painting or sketching or whatever art you are doing thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one and now I'm going with my dog for a walk